Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with a reminder that blood money opportunities are still at 2 times gold, money and XP and that would end on Tuesday. So there's still time to farm right now if you have not been doing that for the entire month. But first I'm going to show you how to farm Capitale which is used to access blood money opportunities. Capitale drop rates are also at 2 times so farming Capitale drops are definitely the way to go. And the easiest one to farm will be in part 2 of the Jet Phelps contract. Once you load into this contract, you only need to go towards the target marker, climb up to the roof, and drop on top of the front porch awning. There will be a lockbox over there that will give you Capitale every time you open it, and right now it's at 2 times. Do note that there is a 5 minute cooldown after you have received Capitale before you can receive more. On normal occasions, you can receive between 2 to 4 Capitale, but with the 2 times drop rate active now, you'll be able to get anywhere from 4 to 6. Now out of all blood money opportunities, I would say that Il Sovrano is the hardest one to predict. Not because it is actually difficult, it is only because of the randomness of things happening at the same time in order for you to successfully do this as much as possible in stealth. Now why I say in stealth is because this mission We'll have lawmen coming up and spawning all around you and given that we are playing in ruthless difficulty, they are extremely strong, they are extremely accurate. Every two you kill will spawn another two more. So by raising the alarm and having a wanted level, it's a pure waste of your time and of your ammunition. So in this guide, I'm just going to show you what's the best possible situation that can happen and that you should not wait for more than 5 to 7 minutes for that situation to happen in order to complete the first phase. I've always said that I am not a very good player and I'm an extremely lousy shot to boot. So this guide will show you how I actually make it through this, however bad a player I am, simply by clicking replay mission and hoping for that scenario to happen. It may seem like a bit of a stretch but not everyone is a marksman and not all scenarios are achievable for certain players, especially for players like me. So the first thing that you do is to tether your horse right outside the saloon before you enter. Once you're inside, we are looking for two things to happen. Now the first thing is that the NPC who is standing guard on top of the stairs, the one in the bowler hat, we will need him to come down from the steps and exit through the main door. Because while he is there, you are unable to access the upper floor. And if he sees you on the upper floor, he will start shooting and raise the alarm. Now the target that we need is a gentleman with white gloves. He is one of the red target markers that you actually see on the map right now. So he will actually do three things. He will either visit the bar downstairs, or he will go outside to the outhouse, or he will go on to the balcony for a smoke. So the one that we are looking for is for him to go to the balcony to have a smoke. And while he is doing that, we will need this NPC at the top of the stairs to come down and exit the building. So it may take a bit of waiting for all these things to happen, but you can just stand there at the ground floor like me and no one will bother you. So after some waiting, if you have been watching the conversation, that gentleman will want to go out for a smoke and that means he will be entering the balcony. So now we're just waiting for the guard on top of the stairs to come down and then we will exit to the balcony and grab hold of the target. So after a bit more waiting, the guard at the top of the stairs starts coming down and once he is clear of the stairs, you can actually use the stairs to go up. Make sure that you go up quickly before your target leaves the balcony. Open the doors to the balcony, make sure they are closed behind you before you approach the target. And if you're on PC, just go behind him and press F for a chokehold that will bring him down. Do not attempt to hogtie him or put him in a chokehold because he will call out and all the guards will come. Once he's on the ground, loot his body for the location of the wagon and exit the balcony. You will have to go down to the ground floor before the guard returns. But other than that, all the NPCs are none the wiser and you will be able to leave peacefully.
Once you're outside, mount your horse and go to the location of the wagon. When you are near the wagon, do not stray too near. Just dismount from your horse and start sneaking because what you want to do here is to take care of all five guards at the same time using dead eye so that no alarm is raised. Now if you are detected by the NPCs, a lot more NPCs will spawn, which you will see in my case because I actually missed out on one NPC and a lot more of them started to spawn. Regardless of what happens next, you can choose to kill or not kill the remaining person, but your objective right now is to get onto the wagon and bring it to the drop-off point as quickly as you can. Over here, you should make sure that your health tonics are up to prevent the NPCs from killing you within a few shots. Also, keep in mind to press E at the right location or you end up like me going inside the coach instead of driving it. But I must say that inside the coach, it's like 99% bulletproof and the shots from the NPCs would not matter. So once you're on the wagon, drive it as quickly as you can to the drop-off point. However, if you know how to autopilot on this, you'll be able to let the wagon drive itself while you turn behind and take shots at the NPCs. The drop-off point will not be very far away. Just make sure that your health is topped up with tonics and you'll be good to go. Once you have almost arrived at the drop-off point, the NPCs will stop chasing you and your wanted level will go away. So now you decide between completing the mission now or wait a full 30 minutes. So I always keep a timer for blood money opportunities and I like to complete the mission after 30 minutes. And the reason for that is because at 30 minutes, you'll get the maximum amount of 0.48 gold, 1,500 XP and 225 in cash. However, at 2 times the reward, you will be receiving 0.96 gold, 3000 XP as well as 450 in cash. And if you complete this with another person, the XP and cash received will be more. So I've said this before and I will say it again, I am not an extremely good player and I'm especially bad at aiming and shooting. So all I can do is to give you simple strategies like this so that you'll be able to farm this for gold, for XP and for cash. So if this video has been of help to you, do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer if I am able to. That's all for this video, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.